In the next set of videos, I'd like to go through some of the functions of uh, the SNA. But before doing that, I would encourage everyone to use the lock function to lock out the calibration related uh, options from the menu. And the reason I recommend you do that is number one, it doesn't clutter the screen with those calibration related options. And number two, it's also going to protect the SNA. So uh, protect it against you accidentally going and executing a calibration function. The power meter function basically displays the power of a signal that's fed into the uh, the SNA. So if we execute that, it will show us the dBm value and as well it shows us what the microvolt and microwatt level. Right now I've got a zero dBm signal being fed into the, uh, the SNA and it's showing zero dBm and it's showing approximately a thousand microwatts which is one milliwatt which is what uh, the definition of a zero dBm signal. The other thing is that I've, I've put in this deviation parameter here and what that does, that measures the fluctuation, how much the signal varies. So right now you see the signal is varying a, a fairly small amount and uh, it's, it's a fairly stable signal. The frequency generator option I think is one of the most powerful features of uh, the SNA. So what basically it does, it's generating a frequency of known power coming out of uh, the output port of the SNA. Then it reads what's being returned on the input port of the SNA and it displays uh, the values. So this could be used, for example, to check losses across all kinds of RF equipment. So you could use it to check, for example, the isolation uh, between a, uh, two ports of a RF switch. Or you could check uh, what the losses across the, the RF switches. You could check, you know, losses across a cable or a large spool of cable. So, uh, you know, th the uses of this option is endless. So once selected, it uh, allows you to select a frequency which you can change by changing the rotary encoder. Then it displays what uh, power level is coming into the, uh, the SNA and it's showing you the difference between what uh, power is being put out and what power is coming back in. So in this case I have got a barrel connector connected and as expected we're seeing you know uh, about 0 dBm loss. So uh, the dBm in is basically giving you the loss across that uh, barrel connector. So we're seeing less than 1 dB of loss across that connector. The interesting thing to note here, because we've got it connected straight through, the dBm in, in is actually the dBm out of the signal generator. So right here we're seeing a, about um, minus 9.2, say about minus 9, uh, dBm. So that means that at this frequency the uh, 83, 80, the 9850 is putting out approximately 9 dBm of power.